Hello and welcome to I I Night, a safe space on the internet where I share my art, my chill gaming content, as well as things around the internet that I delight in, such as Goblin Core and Bloom Core. I'm your host, I I Night, and I welcome you to my cozy channel. Okay, hi. This video is basically an unboxing video of the Kimian tablet that you see before you. Now, the thing is, I wanted to get another Hulian tablet. I still do want to get that Hulian tablet. I want to get the one which is like an actual screen where you can actually draw on the screen and you can see the illustration happen as is. However, it's been so many years and I still haven't seemed to be able to save up enough to buy the proper one. So, but I found that there was a um, discount and we decided to just try out this one so this one is the um, it's just a very simple pen tablet there's no screen and it didn't cost us I think it was about it was less than $50 in total so it's really simple but it definitely is enough for me to be able to use the studio on my Windows 7 PC which is something that I really, really want to do since I'm looking into getting back into creating my comic books. So yeah, this is the interface. It is very simple. I have a bunch of buttons. It is really interesting. And I like how they have these little elevated pads on every corner just to make sure that, you know, it doesn't scratch the table and the table doesn't scratch the tablet. So something I was not expecting was this glove. I'm actually quite intrigued by it. I really feel that it helps to remove a lot of the extra um, strokes that you would otherwise get if my skin was resting directly on the tablet. So. No, 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 I'll keep this, I'll keep this for the Hulian tablet, I won't mix it up. This is the pen, it's nice and thick and sturdy. I really like the fact that the tip is very um, pointed. When I was using a previous tablet, I really didn't like the rounded tip because I felt like my strokes were not as precise. I also like the fact that they gave multiple adapters as well in the event that I wanted to connect my tablet to other devices. So that is really cool. Yeah, straightforward. And I like the fact that there is an um, inbuilt cable tie to keep it neat and tidy and you can see just how long it is it's pretty long i would say it's about at least 50 centimeters long so that's enough um wire length to connect from where i'm sitting all the way to the usb port on the computer just fine and i think i can still wrap up the excess using the attached cable tie so that's basically everything in the box. Uh, there was also a warranty, which was the black card that you can see underneath the tablet up there. And I think there was a disc, which was the circular thing. Ooh, what is this? Hmm. I think this is the guide, the user guide. Yeah, okay, so this is the user guide. Um, it's really simple and straightforward. I don't really think... I need to refer much to the user guide to figure out how to use it. I think it should be fine. Mm. Oh, okay. Two, two different types of user guides. Yeah. So, I think I'll just keep these in the box in the event that something, you know, turns up like maybe how to program the buttons. I don't really think I need to refer to the user guide. So, I'll just leave those at the bottom where they came from. Moha. <sighs> You know what? Everything fits so perfectly. I'm going to try my very best that after or when I'm not using it anymore, I'm going to put everything back into the sleeve and back into the box. 
I think one of the, the faults I had previously was because I used to use my tablet a lot, I would leave it on my desk, much like a mouse. However, unlike a mouse, the whole piece is very sensitive. This is the Inspire. <laughs> it's very cute, and I'm going to take good care of it. Thanks for watching. As always, be magical, and I will see you in the next time. Bye bye.